What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another Ark Story episode for you guys today and we're out in, whoa, we're out in the volcano once again, pretty much where we last left uh, last episode and honestly this Gallimimus, even though uh, Gallimimus is probably one of the most useless dinos in all of Ark, we got this guy right here, he's a, there's something behind us, oh god, I heard the stomp and I was like, nope, okay. So, um, yeah, we're, we're in the volcano area. We're looking around for more tames. Now, I have found a couple of tames. There was a 145 aloe over here. We ran through the poison gas, but you're probably going to die here. Let's park our bloodstalker up here because we ran through one of the vats. 10 seconds. Let's just wait it out. I am going to also take this off. We've already been to the snow biome to give... Um, to get some mudden, so you can see our blood stalker is absolutely positively full of mudden. Let's get that down there. All right, we're on that much health. So yeah, I found a couple of high level tames while we were just exploring around. Uh, there's a 145 aloe around here somewhere that is got like a re really cool underbelly. Oh, does he not eat raw meat? Uh, cooked meat? Hold on, let's just kill these guys right here so I can get some fresh meat for our stalkery boy. We're taking out our, this is our mutated one because Parasite died last episode, giving birth to the Raptor Squad. So, Parasite, mate, your sacrifice will not be in vain. I'm just trying to find, that's a level 100 one. I'm just trying to find the 145. I don't remember if it was over here or if it was further over. I just wish I could get a lock on without these big old... Yellow reticles in the way. 100, 100. Okay, they're both level 100. There's a bloody Magnusaur right there. Alright, so here we go. Here's one of the trikes, I think. That's a 140. Yeah, this is the one I saw. So we've got a 140 trike here. I'm going to knock it out. I don't know whether or not we should bother trying to take it to the trap. Okay, of course I hit the crest. Okay, oh god. This was a big mistake. Alright, here we go. We'll just chill here for a sec. Alright, so we're trying to hit the one with the blue bodies. The one at the back there. I'm 90% sure that's the 140. It would help if I could actually aim and hit the thing. Okay. We're having no luck. Let's just come over here and give it a nice big old cuddle. Okay, now we run. Oh god, this is... Okay. You know what, maybe we should just take it over to the trap, because this is definitely not working. I want to find these aloes first, because we want to kite them to the trap. Oh, hello, Basilisk. Let's stay away from you. I'm just trying to find where those aloes were, because I think it was a 145 female... I just don't remember exactly where... It, I know it was on this side of the map. Can we... Whoa, okay. Oh, hold on. Is it these ones? There it is. 145. Right there. 145 female aloe. So we're going to try and kite this one back to our trap. How effective that'll be... <sighs> remains to be seen. I'm just going to, like... You know what? I'll just start tranking it. And try to, that one, it's already separated from its mate, so, you know, that's great. I'm just going to start shooting at it. And then we'll, uh, we'll head to the, to the trap and try and kite it. This Dodic's almost dead. Okay. Hello, good sir. Follow me, please, if you would. Alright, apparently not. There's a bloody Magnusaur right there. It's back on that Dodic. It's annoying because it's still got that alpha boost from... The other one? Oh, actually, I think it's just lost it. Bloodstalker, you want to stand us up, bruh? There you go. Atta boy. Alright, well, why are you doing that? Well, I'm just going to shoot him, and hopefully it, it tranks him. I don't think it's going to... I don't know how that didn't hit. He's very preoccupied with his Kentrosaurus. He's got 9k Torpor, so he's going to definitely... Oh my god, can I hit these damn darts today? Please! Okay, for some reason, you know what, I bet you it's the bloody Bloodstalker too. Because these are like point-blank shots. Alright, so we're going to try and get this guy over to the trap. 
He's very obsessed with his Kentrosaurus. However, the Kentro looks almost dead. As long as it, his friend, her friend doesn't come over here. Alright, I'm just going to let it chomp us. We'll try and chomp us. Can you move, dude? What are you doing? Taking a shit? Sometimes, Bloodstalker, you are a big pain in the butt. No, don't go over there. Don't attack the Stegos, please. That is the worst thing you could possibly attack. Especially when you're by yourself. Oh, man, this is just already... <laughs> Turning into a massive disaster. So he's taunted by the Magmasaur. He's going to attack the Magmasaur. Magmasaur is most likely going to kill him. He also has to fight the bloody Magmasaur and the Stegos. 4k health. 195 melee damage. I mean, this Magmasaur doesn't seem very interested in, well, anything, really. I'm just going to keep shooting it. It seems to be working so far. As long as none of this stuff is alive when it gets knocked out, we should be fine. I don't know what's going on. This Magmasaur is definitely going to kill this aloe if we don't uh, get it away from it, though. Although, it's just chilling there. Doesn't really want to attack. Alright. Magma Soul, bro, you good? I don't think he's going to attack. I mean, he's at 3k Torbal, so we're a third of the way there. I don't really want him attacking the Magma Soul. Alright, let's try and get his attention over this way. I don't want to get... Come on. Come on. At least we can outrun it on, like, sprinting without having to jump and zip away. Just keep his attention on us and we should be fine. We're almost at the trap. The trap's just on the other side of that rock. As long as it doesn't aggro on, say, a trike. But honestly, that's okay because we can just keep shooting it while it fights the trike. It should be able to kill the trike with ease. And I'll just keep tranking it. So I'm going to try and get this guy over to the trap because Mr. Aloe here is just not cooperating with us whatsoever. Okay. Uh, nope. I don't want to get stuck in a scorpion and a bloody aloe. That is definitely not a story I want to be telling. Okay. Come on. I'm definitely not into insects like that. All right. Let's get aloe boy over here. Come on, mate. You see a juicy blood stalker, mate. You know you... Oh, God. Just keep dodging and weaving, dodging and weaving. Is it still coming after us? Yep, sort of. Kind of. He's going to go for the blood. No, all right. Trap is just over there next to the Rex. Now that makes me a bit nervous. Ooh, all right. And the Kano. I'm just going to avoid him, and we're just going to run straight for the trap, because it's a 145 aloe, and we don't want to mess this up. Come on, go in the trap. I don't know. Oh, last second it rear-ended on the bloody parasaurs. Let go of the freaking thingy. If it just comes running straight at us, though, we should be fine. I don't know if it will, though. That's the only thing. And it looks like it's taking damage from the Kano. They're actually fighting. I don't know what's going to happen here, because the aloe is very fixated on this parasaur. Completely oblivious that the Kano is attacking it, and the Kano does bleed, so it's going to hurt the aloe a lot. But for some reason, he just doesn't want to attack it. I don't know why. Hello, mate. You're gonna. Okay. All right. Uh, he's not going to finish killing it, apparently. Come on. All right, he's in the... How did he get out? Oh, because there's the freaking door frame missing there. All right, I've got to fix that up and I'll bring you guys back. Okay. Just trying to eat the parasaur body. We got the stone uh, door frame on the other side. I swear to God, with the amount of darts I've missed, I could have freaking knocked this thing out already. So, it's at 5k torpor, so it's almost there. I'm just wanting... Oh, God. I want to get it in the trap. Can... 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Bloodstalker, mate, you're really just killing me here. Better turn around. I don't know why it's trying to swim in that water. There's literally no water. Ooh. Well, that was a whole ordeal, wasn't it? Alright, well, I mean, it's in the trap now, so we can go about getting it knocked out. Thank God for that, because that was painstakingly difficult. So, now he's going to be safe. We've got the mud in our inventory that we can drop off on the female aloe. I don't remember what our other aloes are back at home. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got some of them in the cryopods. Nonetheless, though, uh, we're going to get this one knocked out because it's a female. It's a 145. I know it's not an Easter one, but we will be going back for the um, for the trikes if I can bother to knock those guys out because they're going to be a pain in the ass to knock out. But nonetheless, we'll try and get those guys knocked out too. They have a lot less torpor. They have, I think it was max 3k torpor for that 145 trike we ran into. So, yeah, we're going to get that knocked out, and that's probably just going to be a berry tame anyway. Um, we can use the mining drill to just harvest up a bunch of berries anyway. Um, yeah, and then maybe another Rex. I don't know. We're also going to go check the Magmasaur Cave to see if there's any decent eggs in there, uh, because we can potentially get the Easter-colored Magmasaurs, and then we can breed those into our triplet line that we have going on, um, even though we haven't actually done any Magmasaur breeding. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. So, we'll see how we go. Alrighty, guys. Aloe is successfully knocked down. Whew. Thank golly gosh for that. Alright, let's grab some mutton here. That should be more than enough. We'll whack it in this big fella. This, this big Sheila, I should say. It's a female. I keep calling it a male. I apologize, Mrs. Aloe. That should be enough. Done. Okay. Alright, so Aloe's taken care of. I'm a little bit worried about our Bloodstalker going out there because of the fact that we're uh, on about half health. So if it starts leeching us, we're going to be in trouble. Can I get water from this? There we go. Sweet. I was going to say, if we can't, our Bloodstalker is able to swim through it, but we can't get water through it. What is this unbiasedness? Alright, so we've got this trike in front of us. What level are you? Level 50. I don't know if that's a normal looking trike. Or if it's a fancy looking trike. I kind of want to go back to the 145s over here. And because I like trikes so much, I think they'd be a good tame just to have anyway. Okay. You good, fam? Just getting stuck in the tree. Alright, so we're going to make our way... Oh my god, that was a shot put and a half. We're going to make our way over here to the trikes. There's that other aloe. I don't know where the trikes have gone, though. Oh, hello. What are you? You look kind of cool, dude. I'm not going to lie. Bluey green iguanodon. What level are you? Oh, 150. Okay. You know what? We've got to tame this guy up. Need to. Need it in our lives. All right. We need a bowler first. What do we need? Everything. Should have saw that coming. Unless I try and... Uh... Helena? You going to give me the option to say hello to you, you dumb robot? I gotta find a rock that's actually harvestable. Can I get some thatch, please? Ah, uh, fiber. All right, cool. And I need a bit of hide, which I should have, and then that should be a bowler. Hide and some thatch. Cool. Have you got hide, mate? Tell me you got hide. I know you got chitin. Okay, no hide. Um, we need to kill something. Listrosaurus, mate. I am so very sorry for what is about to occur to you. But I really, I just really didn't have any other option, mate. Although you are a very cool looking Listro. I promise I will redeem you by taming up one of your ancestors. That is the wrong button. Can I get some height? Why don't I have a hatchet? That'll do though. Bowl up. Let's make all of those and get that in there. Done. Here he is. Done. Okay. So we can get this female Iguanodon knocked out. It is an Iguanodon, but... And we are pretty late into the game, but come on. Like, I didn't even need a bowler. Look at the colors on the damn thing. That Kentro over there actually... Ooh, hello. That's a 95. That's actually not too bad either. Do we go tame up the male? I need the berries. I don't really care about the stone. I want the berries. Done. Okay. I'm going to go get that male one too because it looks pretty schmick. Let's go get... Uh, I'll grab the Bloodstalker. 
Alright. And then, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go see if we can find those trikes. If not, I'll just head to the volcano and see if we can find any more uh, Magmasaur eggs. And then we'll figure things out from there. Come on, bro. Come at me. What you gonna do? Do me for three damage? Nice. Now you're asleep. Not so tough now, are you, big guy? Alright. You can have those and those. Done. Alright, let's take a look at the aloe. I want to make sure the aloe is taming up. 22%. 100%. Awesome. Okay, so that should tame up without an issue. We've got... I really like this Kentro. Just here. This guy looks sick, too. 95. Oh, hello. Do you guys see that green trike over here? We need that guy in our lives. This is like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Except instead of eating, you're just taming up the dinos. What do we got? Level 55. Eh. A thousand torpor. Uh, not too worried about it. Although, if it does get any closer to us, we are in trouble. Oh, God. I could probably just tank the damage. I know they do more damage, actually. Here comes the charge. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. Okay, that's fine. It's going to go down in just a second. Plonk. Done. Awesome. Okay. Whew. This is this has been high intensity. Got a couple of good tames. I'm pretty sure I got another set of armor. No. I swear I brought an extra chest piece. Apparently not. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Drop that, drop that. Come up to good old green trikey up here. Boom, boom. There you go, mate. That should be enough for you, right? I'll give you an extra set, just in case. Alright, so that's that one taken care of. That was a male green one. We need to find a female one. That female 145 that we had. Don't go in the poison smog. Question is... Where for out thou, Juliet, to our Romeo? Because I do not see thouest anywhere. Oh, you ate my blue iguanodon, didn't you? You bastard. He spawned right on top of it. He fucking ate it. You goddamn bastard. What level are you? Can I kill this? I don't think I can. Um, actually... Oh, man, I'm gutted about that Iguanodon. It was sick. Let's shoot it. I don't know if I can kill it with this. Um, we can kill it. It'll just take a bit of time. But I know I need to kill it, because otherwise we'll go kill the other one and our trike. Man, that sucks about the Iguanodon. Alright, that's fine. I'll get revenge. Wait, what? Why is this not taking any... Oh, because it just ate. It's like, why is it not taking any damage? It just ate the Kentro. We'll just keep walking backwards here. Yeah, you can taunt all you want, mate. No one's going to come and fight you. I'm oh, God. I apologize about that, Bloodstalker. Okay, we need to move. I need to move. We are on fire. A Bloodstalker is probably going to start eating us. Actually, no. It's not. Can you get a scan off on that distance or not? No. That's right. I'm going to keep firing in on you, bastard. You're dead. You killed my Iguanodon. That's what you get. Okay, I'm a bit worried about our Bloodstalker here because we are on about half health with it. So it'll probably freak out soon. I don't have any other blood packs to feed it. I don't know where these other trikes are. Maybe they got killed by the aloe or the Magmasaur. But they had some pretty cool colors. There was that blue one um, back near we near where our trap is anyway, so we can always go get that one. That's a blue chest of aloe. What are you? you got a purple chest. You're level 15. Alright, let's come back over here. Because there was that blue one over here somewhere, wasn't there? This grey one actually looks pretty nice too. I do like the grey one. Did they kill that magma? No, it's just that one over there. Alright, I'm going to just check the aloe because I don't know what the spoil timer on the mutton's like. 66. Okay, so that'll tame off of that. Awesome. Let's see if we can find... We need a female trike. What is that over there? Is that a Rex? This guy is like blue and purple. Do we want to try and tame this guy up? How much torpor does he have?
13,000. Um, you know what? I really want X-Rexes, but for that kind of torpor, I think they can stay there for now. Okay, what well, we're gonna... Oh, actually, you know what? I did want some Megalanias. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. I did want some Megalanias. Megalanias are so underrated. Nobody ever tames them up. I remember once upon a time in uh, PvP servers, I would just... I was like the king of Megalanias. I had so many of them. And everyone would come to me for breeding mega, ah, uh, for bread megalanias. It was so satisfying. I was the only one that had them, but that's a level 20, and we're not going to waste our time with that. I don't really see any other ones either. All right, you know what? Let's head up to the um, let's head up to the Magmasaur Cave. We'll take go take a gander up there. See if there's any eggs worth our time. And uh, hopefully there is, and then we can get some colored ones. I just have to see how much weight we have. Oh, there's a Megalania there. What level are you? 15. Damn. <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. Oh, you're joking. One bite. The one bite that we get is the one that gives us the Mega Rabies. Wonderful. Okay, I need to get somewhere high. Press the wrong bloody button. I'm like, why isn't my spy class going away for god damn it? That's why. I will s Will I survive? I think I'll just survive. We are regenerating food for our, uh, health from food. I think. I don't know. I'm going to try and pray that we survive. I'll have one more bite of food. We'll be on very little... You know, no. We need to go back. We've got 40 seconds, otherwise we're dead. Let's say hello. Let's go buy... Oh, I can't though, because... The teams will die. Can I make a sleeping bag? No, nah, we're dead. Shit. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. Um, okay. I just realized, yeah, if we... If we teleported out, all our teams would disappear. So I'm hoping they haven't disappeared now. Because if they have, I'm probably going to rage quit, to be honest, and call it a day. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's find out. Okay. Taming successful. You're just about done, and you're just about done. Okay, well, at least that's good to know. They did not die. Okay, we are on the opposite side of the map. Let's get back to our south side, and actually, I'll wait to... No, the, mag the aloe teamed up. What are these guys? Rex is just chilling. G'day fellas, how we doing? That's actually a brown one. I haven't seen a brown X-Rex ever, I don't think. That Dimetrodon is one brave son of a bitch though. Alright, let's keep running. I'm just going to ignore those guys. We're going to try and get back to our body. I'll probably try and teleport to the south, but uh, I don't know how successful we'll be. Alrighty guys, I can see our body beacon. I have no idea how the hell we're going to get up there. Um... I'm hoping there's like a break in the mountain so I can actually climb up there and whistle to our Bloodstalker, but I'm not really seeing anything. I'm assuming we could probably go up and around and then drop down, but ideally I wouldn't want to do that. I'm just trying to get like the name for our Bloodstalker to come up so we can try and whistle it. I don't think we're going to have much luck doing that though. Alright, we're just going to probably have to run around the long way. I genuinely thought we'd be able to get that there. Yeah, we'll probably have to climb up. Um, I did see a pretty cool strike coming out over here though. It was like a, the normal X ones, and then it had like a cyan body, so it was like the light blue. It looked absolutely sick. However, I have no idea where the hell it was, so there is probably no way that we are ever going to be able to find that guy again. I've said my goodbyes. I've, I've come to terms with it. It's fine. It's not fine, but we'll move on, and we'll get back to our Bloodstalk here, and then hopefully we can go into the... Oh, God. Hopefully we can go into the Magmasaur Cave. Can I dodge this, dodge this, dodge this, dodge this? Okay, cool. We're fine. We're safe. All right. Let's get over here. And I think we are good. Are we good? Oh, it's all the way on the other side. How the hell do I get over there? Um, hmm. I do not know. We are going to have to... Oh, God. You know, I've just made myself stuck, haven't I? Cool. I love this game. I really, 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 really love it. Alrighty, guys. Managed to free myself from that pit. And we've found the pathway... To our Bloodstalker. Thank gosh for that. Tell me I can get my... 
I swear to God, you're lucky, game. You're real lucky. All right. Whack that, whack that. That is all my armor, literally all of it. All right, so we're going to probably force feed it a bit. Try and get it some health back. It's just at half health, so... All right, you know what? I don't even care if we lose this one. Let's head down here. Actually, hold on. Let's just check our tames. All right, everything's successful. Awesome. We'll find out in just a jiffy it if it survives long enough for us to bring it back to base, though. Because we're going to make our way up here to the cave. There it is over there. And see if we can get ourselves some Magmasaur eggs. However, it looks like the volcano has just erupted, so I don't know how long that lasts for. I'm just going to chill here for a second. The volcano is erupting. I don't know how long it lasts for. We are going to have some boulders come down here. Maybe I should go cryo up with the tames that we got. At least the, um... Trichon Iguanodon, so that they don't die. How long does the volcano eruption last for? Ooh, that was close. Is it purposely trying to hit us? Certainly looks like it. That one's coming very close. Alright, I'm going to go cryo up the guys because, yeah, I've got nothing else better to do. And I'll bring you guys back when this is hopefully stopped. Alrighty, guys. And I know I said uh, we were looking for Easter-colored dinos, but this blue one's kind of Easter-colored. So this is brown one. Now, that's a 130. That's a 140. I don't know whether or not to tame these up. How much torpor have they got? 2,000. Who has better stats? 2,000 health, 200 damage. Okay, so this one's actually got better stats. So I think I might knock this one out, the 130. Try to, anyway. That was the wrong bullet. Oh, God. Oh, I messed that up. I really did mess that up. Let's just... Can you climb up here for me, mate? Thank you. Just chill there. Okay, let's get this into the right spot. Uh, yoink, yoink. Done. Um, okay. That's the trike that we want here. I just have to try and get the darts into its butthole, but that's a completely different story for another day. And, of course, the hitbox considers that its crest. And, of course, I'm going to hit the other one's crest now, aren't they? Because they are balls deep inside of each other. Wonderful. Okay. Well, this is working, so we're just going to have to shoot some darts into it. I think it'll take about 10 darts. Hopefully, that's all. Not more than that. If I can actually hit the darts as well. That's, that's another thing we have to factor into it. You keep running from me, big fella. Big Sheila. I'll just keep following you like this. Oh, I think it's turned around to get feisty. Why do you hit so hard? Good thing is I can kind of just shoot over its crest, but now it's not working, so we need to find some high ground. Because otherwise, the trikes are going to kill us. I wonder what the devs were thinking when they were like, Okay, let's make these X creatures take 40% reduced damage, deal an extra 40% uh, increased damage, and then once they're tamed up, they're actually completely worthless, and, you know, you don't get anything bonus with them. I wonder what they were thinking. Alright, so 1260. Let's try and aim there. Cool. This should get knocked out here. Uh, unless, of course, I keep missing. Come on, that is literally point blank shot. What do you mean that doesn't count as a hit? Alright. There's some hit hide hijinks going on in here. Apparently that was the crest. Whatever, game. Can you spin around? Dude, what the hell? How much of a body do you want me to hit? Honestly, at this stage, I'm considering just getting off the blood store and, and doing it. Okay, yeah, whatever. You're telling me that that wasn't a direct hit? Okay. Thank you. Bro, get out of the way. <sighs> I love this game. 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 Okay. Let's get this strike before it... Oh. I thought that was a Microraptor. I genuinely started having hot palpitations. Okay. Hallelujah. That is finally asleep. Now we can get out of here and we can go check the volcano for some Magmasaur eggs. Both of these guys are still alive. He's also, she's also still alive, which is wonderful. I need to get some berries though. I need to wait for its uh, lesbian lover to leave me alone first.
I'm out of gasoline. That is not a bad looking Anki though either. Level 90, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of berries here. Uh, honestly, is that enough? That's probably enough. That'll do. Let's go get this guy some berries, and then we can go into the lava cave and hit it up for some magmasaur eggs, hopefully. Some decent magmasaur eggs, I'm praying. Uh, done. Alright, that should be more than enough berries. Let's go. You and me, Bloodstalker. You and me. Alright guys, here we go. Into the monster's den we go. So, I have no idea what we're going to find in here, but... A bloodstalk is pretty low, so I'm a bit nervous. Uh, this is our mutated one. I don't really know if I'm ready to lose this one emotionally. But if we do for a good egg, uh, I'm going to be inclined to say that's a big fat all yes. I don't really know where we want to go first. I feel like... I should check. Oh god, that's a big old fireball. Okay, here we go. There's two eggs down there. Are they aggroed on us? They aren't. Yes, they are. Maybe they aren't. Okay, I think that was a 90. I don't know what level that was, but I need to get out of here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Climb, big guy, climb. Alright, we got two eggs out of that. Wonderful. Let's take up a look up here. Let's just chill here for a sec. Ooh, that was intense. Alright, what did we get? Uh, there's the first one. Level... Oh, shit! 150! Alright, alright, I'll take it. And a level 90. Okay! 150. Yes, please. Alright, I think that is that is our first max level one. The ones that we got that were the triplets, they weren't max level. They were 145s. Oh, but... Oh, shit. Look at that guy down there, though. I've got to see if there's, there's an egg right there. I don't know if I want to try and get this. I suppose I should try. Come on. What are you swimming for? Climb. Bloodstalker, dude. What are you doing to me? Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't know why the fuck we were swimming through magma for. Genuinely have no idea why we were swimming through magma for. Don't know why we were swimming through magma for. Once again, I'll repeat it because I don't know what the Bloodstalker was doing. And why it felt necessary to swim through magma. I don't even care that the trike's going to wake up. I don't care. We want that 150 egg. I didn't even see what level that other egg that we got was. Honestly, I don't know what it was doing. I'm just going to take this piece of junk. Because that's what it is, a piece of junk. Our Mega Chillin is still alive. He's just getting constantly harassed by bloody Electrophoruses. I'm thinking we, um... I'm thinking we put some Plant Species X on his back so that they stay away from him. Alright, let's grab some armor here, though, real quick. Um... Just so we can survive another bout with those good old fellas. Um, have I got any booties? No, whatever, that'll do. Alright, let's whack all this on. Let's get back out there. Alrighty, guys, this Bloodstalker is uh, significantly weaker. Oh, that's a green one. Significantly weaker than any of the other ones that we've taken out in the past. I think this is the female? Yeah, this is the female that we tamed up um, to breed with. Now, as far as I can tell, there hasn't been any death messages of our other Bloodstalker. So, I think that's good news, but, like, we still have to find it. And get it back and our body and I don't know where our body I don't even know if we'll get a beacon for our body because we got killed by the bloody bloodstalk so I don't know if that'll work oh god don't get stuck there mate you have 900 health we cannot afford to let you die because one fireball will mess you up literally okay apparently you deemed it a good time to stop there Yeah, I don't even know where we died, eh? Okay, there's our beacon. <gasps> Not enough stamina to jump. Float, 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 float. Get over here, get over here. I don't have any stamina, so I can't jump, but I don't know why that one isn't moving. Bro, come here. 
Why are Bloodstalkers so damn glitchy for? There is no way I can kill this guy. There's also no way I'm going to be able to get it out of there. Come on, follow me. I honestly do not know what the deal is with these things. Come and get out of there. Alright, you know what? We're going to have to... Oh, well, fuck. There goes that idea. I was going to say we're going to have to rescue it, but that's so ridiculous. It wouldn't even move. Wouldn't even budge. I'm going to try and kite these guys away from there so that we can get our body bag back at the minimum. But I'm pretty sure we cannot cop one of those blasts. Otherwise, we're good as dead. That was some next level bullshit. We got some bloody hacking going on over there. Honestly, you guys can kill that one. I don't even care anymore. Bloodstalkers are pathetic. I'll take my three Magmasaur eggs and get out of here. Run, run, run. They're not even attacking it. Whatever, I don't care. If it follows me, it follows me. If not, I'm leaving it. Oh, so you want to follow me? You'll leech my blood. Helena, I really need you to get us out of here, like, ASAP. Like, today, like, now. Let's go, please. Okay, that blood stalker is most likely dead. Yep, there it is. That's fine. Are you serious? What hit me? There is nothing to set me on fire. What hit me? And why did you stop teleporting? You never do that. I'm just going to sit in here in my rock. I'm going to take a look at these Magmas or Egg levels. What do we got? 90, 25, and a 150. I'll take the 150. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully we don't get hit by any other ma magical rocky meteors. But we did get the trike, the guanodon, and the aloe as well, so pretty happy about those. We did give up the 130 trike to spawn back at base and get back out here, but I don't really care. It shouldn't be a fact that the dinos despawn when you teleport maps. That's just dumb. But it is what it is, so let's get back here. I don't know if we want to hatch this egg or not. Let's hatch this egg real quick, see what color it is, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. Alrighty guys, we've got the egg incubating. Now, uh, I put angler gel in it, but then I realized angler gel doesn't actually provide any heat with the torches. So, hopefully this hatches soon. We've got to wait 15 minutes, so I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Alrighty guys, and it has hatched, and unfortunately does not look like it's got any, um, any Easter colors, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie, I was excited for Easter colors. Health-wise, actually pretty beefy. Melee damage-wise, absolutely horse poo. It's actually got pretty solid health HP, I think, from what I can see. I'm going to cryo it up anyway. These guys are base, but they do have the imprinting. How much health do they have? They actually have less with their 90% imprinting. Although their melee damage is kind of the same, actually, now that I look at it. But this one has more health, which is actually really cool. So, yeah. All in all, though, we got three new Magmasaurs. Hopefully, the 90 and 25 are different colors. We'll probably hatch them next episode. We've got the Volcanic... Aloe, we got the trike and the iguanodon. So I'd say today was a good episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.